Today we are going to talk about how to simplify expressions. To simplify expressions, we have to combine like terms. Like terms are terms that have the same variable and exponent. Remember that a variable is the letter representing a number value and the exponent is the small number that tells us how many times to multiply that term. Let's start by looking at some examples. We need to combine any like terms that we have. I'm going to start by color coding what are my like terms. 10x and negative 3x are like terms. It's important to pay attention to the negative sign or the subtraction sign in front of the term. This means that we will subtract these two terms. 10x minus 3x will give me 7x. Then we have plus 2 and plus 4. We simply add these two together, and that gives me 6. So our final answer here would be 7x plus 6. We know that there is a plus sign in the middle because this is a positive number. For our next example, we see parentheses. We want to use what we know about distributive property to solve this one. We're going to distribute the 8 to everything inside the parentheses. Remembering that distribute means to multiply with a plus sign in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply 8 times 2y, which gives me 16y, plus sign in the middle. 8 times 3 is 24. I do not see any like terms, so this equation or expression is simplified as far as I can go. For our next expression, again, you want to start with deciding what our like terms are. I see two terms with x, 7x and plus 2x. So again, I will add these two together to get 9x. I do not see any other like terms with these, so I'm going to simply bring those down with the sign for my final simplified answer. For our next example, again, we see parentheses where we will need to use distributive property. I'm going to distribute or multiply the number on the outside of the parentheses to everything on the inside of the parentheses. 3 times 2x with a plus sign in the middle and 3 times 3. This term can just be brought down and we will use it later. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times 3 is 9, and we cannot forget about the minus 5x at the end. Now I am ready to combine like terms. 6x and minus 5x can be combined. 6x minus 5x is going to give me 1x or x, and since I just have plus 9 left over, I can just write x plus 9 for my final answer. On our next example, you will notice that we have a couple of terms that have exponents. You will notice that there is no other term that is y to the second power. We see y, but these two cannot be combined because they do not have the same exponent. This means that the only like terms we have are positive 3y or plus 3y and positive 2y or plus 2y. So that we take these and add them together and that will give me 5y. We're going to start with our terms that have exponents, and usually you're going to go alphabetically. So I have x squared plus y squared plus our next term with a variable, and just drop down the minus 7. This is as far as I can simplify this because those are the only like terms. The last two examples I want to show you, I want to show the difference between y plus y plus y and y times y times y. y plus y plus y would simply just be combining three different y's, which would give us 3y. y times y times y is going to be the use of an exponent. y would be our term that we are multiplying out, and since I'm multiplying it three times, our exponent would be 3. To wrap up and review, again, we discussed how to simplify expressions by combining like terms and reminding you that like terms are terms that have the same variable and exponent. For example, looking at these terms here, 
we see a couple of terms that have x as the variable, and we see a couple of terms that have 2 as the exponent. You have to choose the like terms that have the same variable and exponent, which means that our like terms here would be 3x squared and 8x squared.